Apple Notes just keeps getting more and more powerful. It's already probably the best note-taking app out there, but it's more than just a shopping list app, and it's probably a lot more powerful than you might think. Here, take this for example. I have a document that I wanna scan. I can just go to the Notes app on my iPhone, I can tap New Note, and on the bottom where you see the camera, I can go to Scan Documents. I can then take a picture, scan that, it's in my Apple Notes, and on top of that, you can actually go to Search on Apple Notes, search through my notes, and that entire document that I just scanned is now searchable text as well. So if you have text from old manuals or old receipts or old whatever it might be, things that you scanned, it's so easy to find that and organize everything in Apple Notes. So in this video, I wanna show you some of the incredible features hidden in the Apple Notes app that can make you a power user and honestly replace a lot of other apps that you might be using. Starting off with the first feature I wanna point out, this is that you can actually collaborate on Apple Notes similar to Google Docs, for example. So if I have a note, say this one right here, on the top, I can tap a little share icon and I can share this by iMessage or AirDrop or really any other method I want. And this is going to send a link. That person, if they have an iPhone or any iCloud account, they will be able to collaborate on the note with me in real time. But if you don't really need them to collaborate with you, or for example, if they don't have an iCloud account, you could go to where it says collaborate and switch it to send copy and it'll just send a copy of your note. But I'm gonna leave this as collaborate and I'm just going to send this. And now on the top next to the share icon, you can see that we have a little person icon. So if I go to that, I can either message, call, or video anybody else who's involved with this. Now to the left of the share icon, we have a little person icon showing that it is a collaborative note. And if you tap on that, you can actually go and do, a, first of all, a call or message or video with everybody else who's collaborating on this. Or you can go down to show all the activity, show the highlights. Or what I think is really important is to go to manage shared note. Now, this will allow you to choose other people that are that have access to this, are they going to be able to edit this or are they just going to be able to view this? Apple Notes also allows you to lock notes. So if you have your password saved or if you have tax information, financial documents, or if you just have embarrassing photos of you or any other photos that you might wanna keep private on your phone, you can actually lock them in a note. So right here, I'm gonna title this an embarrassing photo of me. I'm gonna go back to my generic notes folder. And if I tap and hold this, we can go and lock the note. So if you tap lock note, it's going to ask us to set up, so we're gonna use our iPhone passcode right now. You could have a different password. I'm gonna use the same one as my phone right here and we can enable face ID as well. So in the future, when we go to that note, it's unlocked right now, but on the top you see the lock icon, you can tap that, it'll lock that note, good to do before you hand your phone off to somebody else. Next, I wanna talk a little bit more about the scanning feature. I showed you early in the video that you can scan a document, it shows up as a PDF, really cool feature, but you can do so much more than just that. In fact, rather than having a PDF embedded here, you can also just scan text altogether. So if you have handwritten notes, you want that to be in digital searchable form, you can do that by scanning the text, or if you have, say, a paragraph from a textbook or, or anywhere else that you wanna have the actual text in your document so you can edit it and do things like that and copy and paste it. So we can go to, let's say the workout note and we can tap on the letter A. You wanna format this ahead of time. So if I want this to be monospaced italic, for example, I don't know, whatever formatting you really like, we can close out of this and now tap on the camera icon. So I already showed you, you can add photos, you can add videos, you can take, you can capture new photos and videos, you can scan documents or you can scan text. So this allows me to say, I can point right here, it will scan that. And then if I just say insert, now all of the document that are all the text I just looked at is now in here with that new formatting. And now another cool feature, this is sort of an iPhone specific thing. If you really didn't like what you did, you can always just shake your phone and undo that. We can also organize our notes into folders and tags. So if we wanna use a hashtag, say on this one right here, this is a workout. So maybe I want all my workouts to have hashtag workout on them and hashtag, maybe this one's legs. This is a leg week, so let's just say legs. And now we have two different hashtags on here. Once you hit the space bar, it turns yellow. That's how you know it is a hashtag. If we say done now, we can go back to the folders page and at the bottom, we can go and search for different tags. So if I look at all the workout tagged notes, you'll see they'll all pop up right here. And if I also wanna say, you know what, not just workouts, but workouts that focus on legs, I can tap legs. So this makes it really easy to narrow down things like workouts or recipes or anything like that that you might have a lot of in many different categories. With the notes app, you can also effectively make templates for different styles of a note. So for example, if you have a shopping list template that you like to organize your groceries by like the deli section, 
section, the dairy section, the breads, then you can do that by making a note, as you see right here, that is just a blank template, however you like. This could be a table for working out, this could be for shopping, whatever it is. And then whenever you want to make a new one, you can use that template by tapping and holding it. Go to share note, go to the bottom where it says copy, and then if you go and open a new note, you can just tap and hold and say paste, and that'll use the entire template right here, so you're able to use it in a new note. Getting back to the scan feature one more time, this is really cool. I, I promise I won't talk about scanning too much, but if we want to scan a document, so if we go to scan document, and I wanna scan this page in a book right here, we can take a photo, and we can organize the edges, make sure they're lined up perfectly, and we can keep the scan. But when you keep a scan, as you can see right here, it just shows a massive picture of the scan, and at the top, it just has whatever the largest text it could find was, which for here is the title of the chapter. So if I tap and hold on this, I can go down here and rename this, and I can call this uh, like important, important idea. We can save that. And on top of that, if we tap and hold, we don't really like the large image right here. It kind of makes the notes a little bit messy. We can go down and make it small images. So if we say small images, now it's suddenly a very small preview that doesn't take up a lot of space. In addition, if you tap to open it, you can edit this as well right now. So if we tap on the colors on the bottom, we can choose if this is a color scan, a grayscale scan, black and white, uh, which might be a little bit easier, a little more contrasty, uh, easier to read. And we can leave it as that for now. In addition, if the scan didn't capture everything, we can go to the crop feature in the bottom and resize it as needed. I mentioned that you can organize by tags and folders. So let's talk a little bit more about folders. First of all, the difference between tags and folders, folders are great because they can be collaborative rather than just sending somebody a note and they can collaborate on that. You can make an entire folder that is collaborative. Whereas tags, on the other hand, you cannot do that. On the other hand, tags are super useful because you can search in different folders and have a different permutation of attributes for whatever you are looking for specifically. We can also very easily make subfolders. So if we tap and hold on folder, we can say move and we can move this into another folder. So if we put it in like old content notes, now suddenly that is going to be a subfolder. Now let's say you frequently make notes and you want them to automatically be added into a folder. What you can use is a smart folder. So if we go and add a new folder and we wanna call this one, say workouts, workouts, we can make it into a smart folder, which can use tags. And that's the, tr the traditional way of doing this. So we can add say tags on here and we wanna say um, a selected tag. This selected tag is workout. So any workout tag automatically gets put into this folder. But you can also have a lot of other very intelligent things here. For example, if it has a mention in there, if it's shared, uh, if it has an attachment, if it has a checklist, if any of those attributes or any of those features are met, it'll automatically be added into this. So obviously that gives you a massive, massive range of features uh, or possibilities for how to use, utilize these folders. But just looking at the basic one, just, you know, if it has hashtag workout, add to this folder, that's a really powerful way to make a folder that you can share that folder and then anytime you make a new document or a new note, add hashtag workout, it'll automatically be shared with whoever has access to that folder. So. That, honestly, I can make an entire video just about different ways to use in smart folders. Now within any folder, as you get more notes, it can be really cluttered and hard to find things. So without having to use the search feature, there's a couple good ways to find stuff. The first way is to pin important notes on the top, ones that you revisit a lot. So if I really like this shopping list template, I can simply swipe from the left to the right, it'll pin it to the top, or if we can swipe again, it'll unpin that as I mentioned. Or if we tap on the ellipses on the top right, we can organize how we're sorting these, how we're grouping these. So if we want to group them by, uh, for example, by date, that's a great way to see, like, you know, kind of quickly go through and find an older note. Or you can view as gallery as well. So that shows you a little preview. And you can see instead of like four or five per page, you can see up to like nine per page, a lot easier to kind of go through these and see the previews and find a note like that. Some other really useful things I talked about smart folders, but there's also smart search as well. So when you go to search, you can search for any specific word that you have in the notes, or you can go and see the options right down here. You can say notes with drawings. Maybe anytime there's a note with a drawing, I want that to pop up. Going back to the folders page, you can also see recently deleted notes in case you accidentally got rid of a note. They will be saved there for, I believe, 30 days. Also, if you have a checklist like I have right here, you can simply swipe from the left or the right to indent or remove an indent for any specific item. Using an iPhone, of course, we can use Siri to take notes. Create a new note and tell me that this is my shopping list eggs, bacon, bagels, and toast. And just like that, it's added to our notes. 
Besides typing notes and besides using Siri, there are other great ways to save notes as well. So if I'm doing a research project on economics and I find a good article on Keynesian economics, I can save that to a specific note by going to share. Uh, so if you're in Safari or Brave or whatever browser you're using, just go to share. And then I can go over to notes and within notes, you'll see right here that we can choose, first of all, as a new note, or we can save it to a different note. Now, if we go back to notes, you'll see that it will pop up there um, as a link to the website that I just had. On iOS, you can also have quick notes on your lock screen, as well as have a notes widget, um, or you can also add notes to the little control center on the top. All of those are available in your Apple settings. So if we just wanna add uh, notes to the, con uh, the control center on the top, we can go to settings, type in control center, so find our control center, and we can go down and make sure that we have notes added to that. So we'll go into notes, and if we swipe down, you'll see that we do have notes right there. So we can tap and instantly add a quick note, any type of new idea you have, just a really easy way to access that without needing Siri. Now, of course, one of the big benefits of using Apple Notes is it syncs seamlessly between everything on your iCloud. So uh, a, a laptop, an iPad, anything like that. And on a Mac and an iPad, you actually have some different features on here as well. So for example, on an iPad, if you use a little A-shaped pen tool, then whenever you write with your Apple Pencil, it'll automatically convert that into text so you're not stuck with your sloppy handwriting and it's something a lot more readable. And on an iPad or on a Mac, you can just drag and drop photos or documents from, from Finder over into Notes and it'll add a little link right there again a really easy way to organize things and on an iPad as well as on a MacBook you can actually access quick notes so if we go down to the bottom right of whatever screen you're on move your mouse all the way down to the corner you'll see a little gray box pop up if you click on that it'll open up quick notes and lastly, if you want to access your notes from a non-Windows device, you can do so from a Chromebook or a Windows laptop or whatever out there by going to your iCloud account, going to iCloud.com, signing in and clicking on notes, and boom, all of your notes are right there. So those are some of my favorite features in Apple Notes. If you enjoyed this video, consider liking and subscribing. If you have any other features that you really like about Apple Notes, be sure to go down and leave a comment and let me know what those features are.